run to the beat with my hopes and my dreams like a boat in the sea. Let it ride from the west to the east. Be the best you can be. Let the rest rest in peace while I try. What's goody, fam? You already know who it is. It's Shaka Shine, aka your mom's boyfriend, and she's been letting me know. A lot of y'all haven't been doing your chores. You haven't been liking, commenting, and subscribing. So make sure you do your chores so we can get back to another reaction on Shaka Shine Reacts. Today, we're doing a little bit of Dave Chappelle, and this is funny ass shit, apparently. Now, for the people that have been doing their chores, you know me, I got to give credit where credit too. So I got to say thank you. I truly appreciate every single one of y'all. cannot stress that enough. With that being said, though, a lot of y'all still sleeping on my music. I make music and I got a song out every single Friday of 2021. Links in the description below if you want to check that out. For the people that are waiting on their requests, I'm getting to every single one of y'all. If I said I put it on the list, it's on the list and it's coming up. But you can always skip the line by hitting me with the donation. Links in the description below and I get your reaction out within 48 hours. Now, as far as Dave Chappelle goes, in my personal opinion, I think that he's a comedy genius. So I'm definitely very biased when it comes to Dave Chappelle. Now, do I think that everything that he does is funny? No. But I would say the majority for sure is. Now, um, I'm not going to hold y'all. This is kind of a long little skit. So let's get straight into the reaction. Say that because they know we know the law. <laughs> Every black dude in this room is a... Let's see if we can get this in some... Better quality. Ah, uh, nope. It is the quality we're getting. Let's go. Qualified paralegal and shit. He knows the law. <laughs> and if one of us even start to do something wrong, an old black man would pop out of nowhere. Nigga, don't do that. That's five to ten. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> <sighs> well, we know the laws and the penalties. Guy Chip didn't even know he couldn't race. I'm not saying I don't like police. I'm not saying that. I'm saying I'm just scared of them. Nothing wrong with that. Sometimes we want to call them too. Somebody broke into my house once. It's a good time to call them, but I don't know. Uh -uh. <laughs> the house is too nice. It ain't a real nice house, but they never believe I lived it. Be, oh, he's still here. <laughs> oh my God. Open and shut case, Johnson. I saw this once before when I was a rookie. Apparently this nigger broke in and hung up pictures of his family everywhere. Okay, I'm not sure if this is the same one, but he has used this joke now in a different stand-up. I have to go check to make sure it is the same stand-up, but, or it, that it isn't the same stand-up, but let's keep it going. Well... Let's sprinkle some crack on him and get out of here. <laughs> oh, you know, that's that, that's that whole brutality thing. It's, see, that's common knowledge now. There was a time when only minorities really knew about that. I'm not going to say white people didn't believe us, but you were a little skeptical. You were a little skeptical. I mean, I don't blame you. And then Newsweek printed it and he knew it was the truth. And then the Newsweek white people were like, oh my God. <laughs> Honey, did you see this? Apparently, the police have been beating up Negroes like hotcakes. It's in the main issue. Stupid. I mean, really, how could you know, though? How could anyone else know? You know, I mean, you, maybe you should have seen something a little suspicious. I don't know. Don't you think it was like a little suspicious? Just a little suspicious? Every dead black person the police find has crack sprinkled on them. <laughs> Come on, man. Who gets shot and sprinkles crack on themselves? Nobody will come here. Bam! Oh, oh! <laughs> I don't want to leave. Okay. Come on, Dave Chappelle is ridiculous. If I remember correctly, I think this might be his um, killing them softly uh, stand up. I remember uh, watching skits of it but i'm not 100 percent sure if that is this one please let me know in the comments Mysteries. i'm a paranoid guy you know that's how i am i am i'll be scared to call 911 for anything even if it's like a fire or anything because they take those phone calls i see the shows they tape them and then they play them on television that's fucked up yeah <laughs> Now, I'll say anything if I'm scared. That shit is private, you know what I mean? <laughs> what if I get killed? 
and start playing that 911 tape on the news, I'm dead. I can't explain myself to my buddies and shit. <laughs> we watching the news. We have Reg Chapman on the scene. Reg, what's going on out there? Oh, it takes a guy on the scene a minute. Hi, Bob. <laughs> Hi, yes. We just got hold of a copy of Dave Chappelle's Frantic. 911 emergency call. Excuse me. Remember, viewers, some of this language is disturbing. <laughs> Hello, emergency. Help! Help, motherfucker, they're coming to get me! Just calm down, sir, where are you? Oh. Oh, I shit on myself. <laughs> I can't stop crying. They play that shit 30, 40 times a day. <laughs> they would if you were saying things like that, for real though. My buddies would be at my funeral looking at me. <laughs> you know Dave shit on himself right before the <laughs> I saw it on the news. Died crying like a bitch. <laughs> In the old days. See, I, used, I talk like that. Not all the time, but if somebody put the pressure on me, fuck it, I gotta, I gotta cut loose. <laughs> when the police pull me over, I'll talk crazy. Son, son. Do you know why we pulled you over? Nah, because I'm black, see? That's right. Nah. <laughs> I'll do it. It's not illegal to talk like that. How do they know I don't talk like that every day? Stop talking like that. Stop talking like white copper. Nah. <laughs> Stop talking like white copper. Nah. <laughs> Sorry, talk, see? Oh, God. You got to make life interesting like that because this shit is flimsy. No. I was taken to the ghetto one time. That's the worst. When you get taken and you're not expecting to go. You know, usually you want to know when you're going to get it, like, I'm going to see some wild shit. I got to prepare myself. I'm going to see something crazy. When you're taking it, it's different. I had a limousine driver. It was after a show. It was late at night. It was like 3 in the morning. I had a limousine driver. He was a nice guy talking to me and shit. Oh, hey, where you from, dog? D.C.? Word? That's a rough city, man. And his cell phone started ringing. Hold on one second. Hello? Oh, what's up, nigga? What? What the fuck? Stole that? What? What the fuck? No! 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 Fuck that, nigga! Fuck it! I'm on my way! <laughs> Stupid. Stupid. If you are in a car and someone says that, get out. Get out the car unless you with the shits. Period, point blank. Get out the car. <laughs> unless you with it. Hey, I got to make a stop real quick at 3 o'clock in the morning. I didn't know he was taking me to the ghetto at first. I started looking out the window. I was like, what the fuck? Is gun store, gun store, liquor store, gun store. Where the fuck are you taking me? This don't look good. He didn't say shit. I up in front of an old rickety building that looked like a project. Now, I've never been there before. I'm not sure if it was a project, but... It certainly had all the familiar symptoms of a project. <laughs> a, a, a fucking crackhead ran this way. <laughs> and, then, and then another one jumped out of a tree and shit. <laughs> and I said, I'll be right back. <laughs> and left me. Took the keys with him and just left me. At three o'clock in the morning, in front of a project, in a fucking limousine. That's just asking for it. Just asking for it. This was not good. No. Nope. I was like, man, I gotta look around and see if I can see some landmarks and figure out where I'm at. I might have to escape on foot. Probably. Now this is when I knew I was in a bad neighborhood. You only see this in the worst neighborhoods. Remember, it's three o'clock in the morning. It's three o'clock in the morning. I look out the window. It was a fucking baby standing on a corner. <laughs> and the baby, the baby didn't even look scared. He was just standing there. <laughs> I 
I mean, it made me sad. It made me sad, really. Cause, you know what I mean? Because I wanted to help the baby. <laughs> I was like, mm, I don't trust you either. I'm sorry. Click. Click. The old baby on the corner trick, eh? <laughs> I'm not going to fall for that shit. Where's this limousine driver? You know, I stop feeling bad. As time goes by, I start feeling worse. Like, man, what is wrong with me? What the hell's wrong? I'm scared of a baby. <laughs> I mean, this baby could be in trouble. He might need my help. I gotta do something. <laughs> but I wasn't gonna get out the car. <laughs> I'm serious, man. I just cracked the window a little bit. First of all, this must be kind of old because if he's rolling down a limo window like that, this has to be quite a bit ago because I don't know any limos nowadays that have a roll down window. <laughs> like, come on. There's an old limousine, I can roll it down. Uh, see, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> hey, baby. That's how he talks to a baby. <laughs> the baby said, I'm selling weed, nigga. I said, oh, shit. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to buy two bags from the car. Let me get two, let me get two coming. Yeah. Got back in the car and rolled me a joint, man. So, that shit was scary, man. Every once in a while, like a crackhead would come up to the car and look in the window. It was like Jurassic Park and shit. He'd be looking on the car. <laughs> hey, get out of here, cracky. <laughs> that baby was still standing there, man. That's what it is. I started feeling bad again. Yeah, weed make you feel guilty sometimes. You know. Man, what is wrong with me, man? I have just bought weed from, a, from an infant. <laughs> I can't condone this kind of behavior. What am I thinking? I can't let the fear ruin my morals. <laughs> Gotta do something. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> Stop selling weed, all right? You got your whole life ahead of you. <laughs> he said, fuck you, nigga. I got kids to feed. I said, God. Stupid. Stupid as Sad. Oh. <laughs> and just at that very moment, one of the crackheads was running across the street and got hit by a car. I know it was a hit and run. The police did it. <laughs> it's all right. They sprinkled some crack on him. He got back up. <laughs> okay, so Dave Chappelle, funny ass shit. It was some funny ass shit, in my personal opinion. I'm sorry I didn't even get to interact too much because I was stuck in it. You know what I'm saying? This was funny to me. We definitely have to keep on watching some more comedy skits. Um, so let me know your favorite uh, comedian so we can start making some more comedy reactions. So let me know in the comments. Um, and also let me know if this is the Killing Them Softly uh, stand-up special. I'm pretty sure that's one of his most popular stand-ups. Not 100% sure, but from what I remember, I think it is. Now, if you're making it this far, you might as well start doing your chores. You might as well hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that comment button. Let me know your favorite Dave Chappelle sketch and what else you want to see me react to. If you're already doing your chores and making it this far, then I got to say thank you. Please don't forget about my music. I got the song out every single Friday of 2021. Links in the description below if you want to check that out. And with all that being said, you know I'll be back at it with another reaction tomorrow.